Hi, I'm Steve Curtis, and today we're going to learn the traditional New Orleans song, The Second Line. And the first thing that clarinet players have to know is the first phrase is only three different notes. Okay, we're going to start with C, and then this song C is Do. Okay, so we have C three fingers down in the thumb, and one finger down with the thumb, and then no fingers down, no thumb. Okay, so we're going to do that like this. Here are the three notes. Okay, so fingering again, three down with a thumb, one finger down with a thumb, and none, no thumb. So you pl let me play the three notes, we'll play them one at a time, I play, you play, here we go. Go ahead. Your turn. Okay. Uh, Make sure that you're using your tongue when you play the song on each note. And also, um, I should tell you that I, so that you can see the fingerings, I lift my fingers up too high, like that. Playing, I would never play like that, but it's just to show you the fingerings. Okay, if you notice, when I play, I won't be doing that, but showing fingerings, I lift my fingers too high. Yours should just be just above the holes, slightly touching the metal on the clarinet. Uh, okay, so, the first phrase of the song. So again, it's these three notes. Bum, bum. Okay, with me, just do the fingering. Bum, bum, bum. This is on the last one. There's no nothing. Okay, you balance it like this. Put it in your mouth. After a note. Okay, we're gonna play those three notes. Echo me. Okay, your turn. Try it. Now let's put a little rhythm into this, the notes. We're going to add rhythm to the notes. Like that. Go ahead. Now we're going to do the same notes twice. Okay, you try it. Now after that, on this note, which is no fingers at all. We're going to add some rhythm. We're going to go. Okay, so put them together. Try that. Go ahead. We're going to put them together. You try it. Don't be afraid to pause the video. If you have to stop the video to practice, please do. Let's try that again. Now that same phrase, we're going to do the exact same thing two times this time. Okay. Now you try it. And again, keep your fingers close. I'm doing this so you can see fingerings. Okay. Thumb is down, thumb is down, thumb is up. All right. Okay. The next part of the song now, for those of you who have not started high notes yet, we're going to do it like this. The fingering for the, this, we're going to play. <laughs> Thumb is covering the key. The 
this is called the A key. It's this one. See if you can see. It's this one right here. Press that. And then that first C, do, three fingers down on the thumb. Okay. So we have those three notes. Thumb, A key, and then three fingers down on the thumb. So let's try that. This is for the people who haven't done their high notes yet. Try that. Now we're going to do the same notes twice, a little bit different rhythm. You try that. And then we're going to add on this the C doll. We're going to add some rhythm. Try that. Now let's put those together. What we just practiced, we'll put them together. Go ahead and try that. One more time. This is great practice. This song only has one note in the higher register, and it's very good practice. It goes like this, this, this same section. Instead of playing, you're going to put all your fingers down, and then and the thumb on the back and the register key, and play a high C. So you have to play. Just the thumb down, the A key, and then that high C. Okay, you try it. One note at a time. First the thumb. Okay, and then just the A key. And then everything's down. So in the bottom we have that. Thumb in the back, register key in the back. So you're going to put them together. So you try that. It might be hard. If this is hard, practice going. Uh, what I tell my students is keep your right hand like that the high note and you're going to be playing the A and then going to the high note. Just practice going between the A and that high C. Okay? And when you can do that then put, them, put it together. This is a little bit hard, so it might take some practice. Just do it in little bits, little bits. Okay, after we do that, after we do this, the song plays the first phrase again. So it's that same uh, phrase that we already learned. So let's play the song that we know so far. I'm going to play the song with only low register notes this time. Okay, try it. Try that much. All right, pause the video and try it. Okay, now we are at the beginning of the end of the song. Okay, we need five different notes for this. Fa with nothing, no fingers down. With just the thumb down. Thumb in one. Thumb in two. Thumb in three down. So we have... So, again, 
slowly, no rhythm, just the notes. Again, nothing, bam, just the thumb, bam, then one, then two down with the thumb, and three down, so we go. play the song up to this point. Okay. So give that a try. Pause the video. Give it a try. Then we have a little ending, okay, for people that are not going to the high register. Uh, the little ending of the song goes. Okay, so it's like this. Thumb and first finger. Bum, then nothing. Bum, <clears throat> bum, And then the A key. Ba, then thumb and three fingers down. That's C, Do. Ba da da da. Again. And nothing. Just the A key. And thumb down and three fingers down for C doll. Just C, Do, C, Do. Okay, so we have. Thumb and first finger. Nothing. A key. High C. Squeak. Okay, so try that. So at the end of the song will go like this. Okay, once you're able to play along uh, with the, the beginning, the opening video uh, with the wind instrument playing, then you can try to do it just yourself and the piano. So here we go. <clears throat> All right, I'll give you a little intro, then come in. Here we go. <clears throat> 